A disc uh, is just like a, analogous to a car tire. You have the fibers in the disc, which is analogous to the rubber, and inside, instead of the air, you have a, a gelatinous material, which is nucleus pulposus. There are two factors which leads to uh, disc herniation or degeneration. One is genetics, uh, the brand of tire you have, and the second is how much mileage you put on it. So when this uh, rubber or the fiber gets worn and gets a tear, this gel comes outside this fiber and puts pressure on the surrounding neural elements, including the nerve. And that's when patients will feel back pain or leg pain as a result. There are two causes for the symptoms of pain, such as the leg pain. One is the mechanical part, which you have a disc herniation, you have a soft tissue putting pressure on the nerve, and you have a chemical part, which the nerve in return gets inflamed and gets swollen and gets big. So in return, the hole gets even smaller. So the first line of treatment is to get rid of this chemical component. And that's the role for anti-inflammatories, also therapy geared towards reducing the inflammation of the nerves and the neural elements. If that doesn't work, the next step is an epidural shot. Epidural steroid injection is essentially like a strong naproxen or a strong Advil injected around the neural element, again, to get rid of the inflammation. Long-term studies have shown 50% patients get relief from epidural injections. So some do get relief, some don't. And in cases that there's no relief from this chemical component because the mechanical part is still irritating the nerve, then you need to look at surgical treatment to remove that mechanical compression of the nerve.